Hi guys and welcome to WP Society. In today's video I'm going to show you how to create a contact form 7 autoresponse email. We are going to talk about automatic emails, both of them. The one sent to the owner of the website and the one sent for a person reaching out to the owner. Before we move to the content itself, I just want to let you know that here at WP Society we make WordPress tutorials. So if you want to learn more about WordPress, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any new videos. Without further ado, let's go build you your autoresponse email with contact form 7. Ok, once you're in a dashboard, hover over contact and then click contact forms. Contact form 7 by default creates this contact form here. But this time let's create a new form so click add new and i will call it cf7 auto response email then click save now you can see four tabs here form mail messages and additional settings in today's tutorial we'll mostly use the mail tab the first mail template area that we see right here is actually an email that is going out and is being sent to the owner of the website as soon as someone uses our contact form uh, to reach us successfully right so as soon as they fill the contact form and they click submit and if there is no errors this mail template just triggers and sends an email to the owner of the website i hope this is a clear now but let me quickly show you an example let's select and copy this short code and then let's hover over pages and click add new but open up is in a new window Now let's name this page contact form 7 test page and just paste your shortcode underneath. Click publish and publish one more time and now view the page. Now quickly just fill in the details. And then click send. Now let's quickly open both emails because as you could see I used the mail and I use the Gmail account for if you better check here you can see that good mood promotions has sent or this contact form here has been triggered and sent me this email and if you follow up you'll see that it sent from it says from Tyrone Kovac and Gmail account uh, subject is contact form 7 exactly coming from this field from subject field here and message body whatever was the message uh, i'll just show you the correlation with this between two these of two uh, if you see here your message is actually here on the form your message right subject your subject and so on and so on so this is exactly how it works the good trick and how to figure out if something is wrong let's say we have edited a form and instead of your email we used your best email if we save the changes, you'll see that now we're getting one configuration error detected. So if we have, if we go back to mail, you'll see that it's actually pointing us out that this shortcode, that this shortcode has not been used in our automatic notification email that has been sent to the owner. And basically, the if we if we use this form and if we apply it with this form, we will receive this message. Because it's gonna get a message but the email that we're gonna receive will be wrong or it won't be there will there won't be email at all so basically you have to copy paste this um, missing shortcode into replay 2 here and if we save you'll see that the problem is resolved now uh, to add an autoresponder uh, email to your contact form 7 we have to go all the way down and we have to allow to use mail2 as it says here mail2 is an additional mail template often used an autoresponder so that's exactly what it is and as you can see it's already reporting that there are two fields that hasn't been used as of yet and what it means it means that we will have to actually copy paste this one because that's the new one we created and again replay to actually who is sending to whom we are sending we are sending to autoresponder to a person that reaches us for whatever reason so if we're sending to your email and that shortcode doesn't exist it won't get any email to send it to and it will fail so we have to replace this and again if we click save if we go all the way up and click save you will see that there is no more error showing up by the way 
there is a still your name uh, field that is not being used and it could be used now there is a question do you actually want to send the person that has sent you a message do you actually want to send him his message back most probably not so i'll remove this your message and then i'm gonna write here for example something like hi thanks for reaching out our experts are looking into your ticket and this looks pretty pretty all right cheers uh, spira for example this looks pretty pretty all right but you can use this your name field in from this form where we ask him for his name which is actually required field and for example when he puts tyron here it will say if we copy this copy paste this shortcode here it will say hi tyron thanks for reaching out our experts are looking into your ticket have a great day we'll be in touch shortly for example you can expand this with much more functions and i'm gonna link it all in a top right corner cards above for example you can add an image so you can have your company logo at the bottom underneath here maybe or you can add some uh, file attachments like pdf images maybe short video messages and so on and so on uh, the trick is that it only has to be uploaded at your own server uh, but no worries as i said you will be able to find these things uh, in a cards in the top right corner above uh, so let's quickly save this form and let's see if the both emails gonna receive uh, the form sent from this one so it's important to quickly refresh this contact form test page and i'm gonna put all the same details like and if we send it if we click send you'll see and if you receive this thank you for your message your message has been sent basically what it should do now, it should send two messages. One for uh, owner of the website uh, on the main admin email, which is here. As you can see, contact form test two. Uh, it's sent by Tyrone Kovac. Your email, you see. Your email here, you can see in a message body, we haven't updated it. And I'm really glad to show this. So you see, we didn't update your email in a template form of the mail one which is a notification email we didn't edit this email so it's actually missing in here you see and that's really great an ex example i actually didn't plan to do this but f even better so you can see that message body is correct subject is there your email little mistake that squeeze in but now we know and we're gonna fix it right if we go over to inbox of the like uh, of the sender email sender you can see that he has received the confirmation of an email autoresponder and says hi tyron kovac thanks for reaching out our experts are looking into your ticket and so on and so on and that's exactly what are we looking for and that's how to do it let's quickly just fix this your email into your best email boom and save and let's quickly refresh and let's go with Tyrone. This is final test for this tutorial and send. And if we go into inbox and inbox here, you can see that test number three. And here we go. Here is the sender's email, sender name, subject, message body, everything correct over there autoresponder email as well so both notification and autoresponder email has been sent correctly and as we said mail number one template usually used to send uh, notification email out mail number two usually send uh, and usually used as an autoresponder if you want to learn more about wordpress make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell but one more thing before we 
no cough. I want to ask you one more question. Would you like to know how to create a full-time passive income online? Quit your 9 to 5 and earn your freedom, which is what I'm doing right now. Check the link below in the description of this video right now. And I'm going to show you my number one most recommended opportunity online. So go check that link right now and I'll get that information to you right away. Also, if you found this video useful, make sure you comment in the description below because it helps this video reach more people. Make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell as well so you don't miss any new videos and I'll make sure to see you again. Cheers, have a good day.